Hello, people of the Earth. I'm pretty sure that all of you are familiar with El Israel 2401. It has been a mystery in Mario 64 for pretty much forever, ever since the game first released. Because, well, in Japan, there was this guidebook that came with Super Mario 64. And in the back of it, it talked about, well, it had interviews with the creators. And in the interviews, they said that Luigi was planned, but they had to scrap him because they didn't know how to make multiplayer work. But in America, we didn't have those guidebooks. And I'm pretty sure Japan was the only country who had those guidebooks. So, like, in Europe and in South America, everywhere, um, no one had those guidebooks. So, no one knew if Luigi was in here or not. So, but people pretty much figured out he wasn't. But here's the thing. There is this statue, or not statue, more like a plaque. Maybe it's a statue? I don't know. It has a star. But there's this statue slash plaque that says... Um, it, it's pretty blurry and pixelated, so you can't really tell what the words say. But a lot of people read them out to be L is real 2401, including me. It, it, it seems like that. They even put this in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Which is weird, because Luigi isn't in that game. He's not even a Zelda character. But, so a lot of people started to think that 2401 had to do something with Luigi, because L stands for Luigi. So, people tried running around the fountain 2401 times, or punching a certain wall a certain amount of times, or keeping your game on for 2401 hours, or stuff like that. And none of it worked, obviously, but a few decades later, or not, not a few decades later, more like one decade later, YouTube was released, and then a bunch of people started making videos about how to get Luigi. They're all fake, of course, but a bunch of people believed them. And, like, even before YouTube, people just told other people, yeah, I got Luigi, when they didn't really. But Elvis Real 241 actually came true after 24 years and one month, which is also 2401. So let me explain how. No, Luigi is not in the game. Sorry if that disappoints a few of you, but I'm pretty sure everyone already knows that. But, Luigi was already planned for the game. Um, I, that, that was already confirmed by Nintendo. But, what we didn't know until now, well, actually this video is like, kind of old, because like, this was found out about one week ago, so probably most of you already know this, but people actually dug into Super Mario 64 files, and have found that there were textures, there were models, there were files, even voice clips. Yes, Luigi had voice clips. Yeah, th there were all of that for Luigi. So, yeah, it turns out he was actually, and there were even like icons for two player. But so yeah, it turned out Luigi was like not just like a concept. Like, hey, how about we put in Luigi? No, no, it turns out. They actually coded in Luigi, but then they just took him out, probably because they couldn't find out how to make the multiplayer work. I don't really know for sure. So yeah, Luigi was real. He, he was real. But then he just wasn't, I guess. So he was, but then he was just cut. So, I don't know, maybe... Maybe the statue actually did have something to do with Luigi, but probably not, because in a letter someone wrote to Nintendo, they were like, hey, what, what does the statue say? Does it say L is real 241? And the, Nintendo was like, no, it's purposely supposed to be, um, you're in, like, not able to read it. So, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe it had to do something with Luigi, but probably not. So yeah. People have actually modded in Luigi, and of course, this has happened before, many people have modded in Luigi. But, this time, it's different, because there's actually Luigi's official models, and official voice clips, and textures, and everything. So, it, it's different than before, where it was like, yeah, Luigi's in, but he's not official, it's fan-made, textures, fan-made, everything. No, now people have actually made his official everything in the game.
So, yeah. And also, sorry I haven't made a video about the new Paper Mario, but it's really good. I beat it. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna spoil it, but I will tell you that there is no post-game content. Like, after you beat the final boss, there's just pretty much nothing else to do. No extra content. And the reason is, it's not like they didn't add in any post-content. Well, they, they didn't. There is no post-content, but the reason is because actually, um, like, it's not like you can play after you, well, you can play, but you can't continue after you've done the final boss, because the most recent save in the Oregon King is right before the boss, the final boss, so it's like, it's, they also did this with, um, Link's Awakening, the remake, at least. So what they did was, they made it so you can beat it, and, um, but then, like, you can't save after the final boss. You can't even play after the final boss. It just takes you back to the main menu. So, yeah, there there is no post-game content in the Origami King. But other than that, I, I think it was really good. If they add DLC, I will definitely get it. Maybe, like, a Paper Wario or something. Paper other characters like Yoshi they didn't even put in Yoshi so yeah I, I would get DLC also I haven't done a video about the PS5 either or the Xbox Series X the Xbox Series X seems weird and like they don't even have any exclusive games they're like we're putting all of the Xbox one games on the Xbox X because um we're just cheap that way so yeah but uh PS5 seems really cool. I'll probably get it when it releases, and I will probably also review it. So, yeah, and I'm dead now, but uh, um, I'm just gonna end the video. But yeah, um, L is real. Two for all one.